so so what we've come to realize before we give you nugget number two we've come to and when i heard the name of the center you know the virginia workforce innovation and entrepreneur center that innovation piece is critical that goes to the creativity right so you need you need innovation you need marketing and you need money management if you don't have the innovation the marketing and the money management that's part of being successful in business right so when you talked about presenting to an investor, if your numbers aren't right, if you're not managing your money, that your outgo is exceeding your income, it's, it's gonna show. Numbers don't lie. Right. So you have to learn how to manage your money, right? So you're innovative, right? right. Which the creativity that we all have. Right. But if you don't have the marketing piece, and then you don't have the money management piece. Those are pieces that have to be in place and have to be you know, properly managed in order for it to be successful. So we haven't given you, we haven't even given well, you nugget number two. <laughs> this, this, is so, this is so good, we might need a half an hour for each nugget. Well, you can <laughs> well, actually we would. You know, one of the things that we do in the course is see, we, we, we really dig deep into mm -hmm. each of these because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things now that's accessible in these areas for an entrepreneur or a business owner to use. Mm -hmm. Like we said, 30 years ago, we might not have had that. Right. Now there's some great, great technology. There's great ways to drive leads mm -hmm. and to be able to get that. So so we do get into that. But, and before I and actually go to the second point, one of the things that I think that's happened so for so many of us in business is that whole piece of, of the funding, the money. Mm -hmm. And right. so we know that we need that to get started, but we also know even if we get it, we do have to manage it. You, right. got, you have to be very consistent in, in what you do with your funds. Yeah. You can't treat it like your personal checkbook. Right. You know, that's so when, so that's a that's a component. Mm -hmm. But the second most important piece after the lead generation is the conversion. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. if you get the leads, but you got to convert them. Right. You, you, if, so if I if I sent you oh, a lead, this is good. This if is I sent you a lead today and said, Jonathan, for your new business that you have, hey, I got a guy. He told me he wants exactly what you have, mm -hmm. and then I hand them over to you, and you can't convert them mm -hmm. because you don't have a system or process. You don't, you're not consistent. McDonald's has a process. You can get the same burger mm -hmm. at every McDonald's you go to. Oh, oh my okay. goodness. So, so once you, you're handed off this lead, mm -hmm. you gotta be able to convert the lead. You convert the lead with consistency in your system mm -hmm. to make sure that you, you're prepared yourself. Be the expert in your area. Yeah. When they call you, you let it rip. You know what I mean? Wow. You, you give it to them See, and, and you convert them. See, I have to say this. I hope you all heard what he just said. In, in the terms of VWIC, he said, you all need to make sure that you concentrate on your pitch deck and your business plan. That's the summary of what, he, of what he just said. Because lead conversion yep. is sales. That's right. You right. have to sell your product. You have to study and understand how to be a good salesperson. Mm -hmm. And I think people think of sales as being, oh, I don't want to be salesy. Right. You know, right. They, they think of the uh, yeah. like a door, door sales. Yeah. 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 salesman. Yeah. Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. 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 not necessarily used cars because we have a used car salesman <laughs> that's part of our group. But he's good. It's okay. He does a good job. He's yeah. probably got some but, really good sales. But, yeah. thing but he's got, he has the skills. Uh -huh. But we make it very clear because we're salespeople also. So we make it very clear. Salespeople are needed mm -hmm. in the world, in the country. Sales, I, we, I think it's one of the greatest professions ever. 100%. That's my personal opinion. So if you're a salesperson, I don't believe that that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Whether you're selling used cars, appliances, Be whatever it is, if, if you know your craft, if you really hone in and your skills are on the thing that you do to make sure that you serve the person that you're selling to, then be a great salesperson. Give them, get, sell people what they need. If you're, if you're selling something that you don't believe in, then the first thing I would challenge you with is then you probably, that's not the thing. And I think you mentioned before, part of selling is knowing your product. Knowing your product better than anybody, right? Go deep and understanding what your product is. Make yourself findable. It's, selling is not always knocking on doors and prospecting and running people down and trying to get them to buy your product. It's more about you knowing your product and people coming to you because they know you are the expert in this area. Yeah, absolutely. Where I mentioned before, being an expert at what you do makes people chase you down. Yeah. So it's an uh -huh. easy sale. It's not like you're trying to convince somebody to buy your product. Selling is not convincing. Selling is persuading someone to buy something that they already want. Uh -huh. and you're just uncovering the value of that product. That's right. Interesting. That's right. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Number number three, you know, and you're gonna give them number three. I'm gonna give them number three, but and here's the thing: because I don't want to spend a lot of time, I want to make sure we get them. But client fulfillment, okay? Mm -hmm. You you get you get the lead. You're successful at converting them. They they want it. You got to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. If you if you do all that and you get the client, you sold them, and you can't fulfill the order, mm -hmm. you can't take it all the way through. And, and, and really what we see is you wow them with this piece. 
okay? Because they already want your thing. They're excited about it. They like you, they like your product. And how many times has this happened for all of us? And then you call, you can't get anyone, your, your stuff didn't come one time, it was the wrong color, mm -hmm. and you're like, man, and you know, and that's the fulfillment. Mm -hmm. So we're doing all this to sell and do business, and we're not concentrating on, make sure you can deliver mm -hmm. what you're selling. Systematically. Okay, Systematic. and all those are systems, all those are things, and, and we're in the greatest time ever yeah. mm -hmm. to be able to have, there's literally software for almost everything. Mm -hmm. There's systems for so many things. Right. There's a way in which you put your stuff in place so that when you've done all this, mm -hmm. you know 100% you can deliver. Mm -hmm. You know that it's ready. And, and even over deliver. Mm -hmm. I mean, do it faster, 100%. quicker, better. Interesting. Okay? So, so, that's, so these pieces, I mean, for, even for us in our business, as we adopted these over the years, this is when we really saw business change. Mm -hmm. This is when we really saw, we have clients that call us and say, hey, can you, even for something we might not do because they're so attached to the way that we do business. Mm -hmm. and, and that's when you know you're making a difference. That's when you know you're, that thing is starting to click on all cylinders and yeah. you're moving it. Taking so, that systematic approach in right. every one of these areas that we talked about. That's Having a system for sales, a system for converting leads, a system for getting leads, mm -hmm. you know, um, a system for fulfilling the leads. And it's the same way over and over and over again. So there's a key word in there, consistency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I had an eye-opening conversation with, um, you all have had Aunt Annie's Pretzel, mm -hmm. yes, Aunt Annie's Pretzel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I had a chance to talk with her, and, oh, she, wow. and she was telling about um, the number one thing, number one reason why her business was successful is because of consistency. She said if your right. product isn't consistent right. between right. store to store to store, between pretzel to pretzel to pretzel, 100%. then it's it's already over before yeah. you Oh, start. you know when you go to McDonald's, you're getting the same hamburger. It's That's the right. same size, it's the same size bun, same number of pickles, same little spread of onions. It's consistent all over everywhere. and over and over. If you went to a different McDonald's and the bun, the hamburger was hanging over the bun, you'd be like, this is not a McDonald's And, and you know how much so? <laughs> I've gone to McDonald's in Germany, in England, and in other countries, it's the same burger. Mm -hmm. it's, it is actually the same, it's the same french fries. Same size so, french fries, I mean, in know, terms of the width of the cut of it. Yeah, cups same might be fun. different, yeah. packaging could be a little different, mm -hmm. but the food, it's the same McDonald's. No, when you're ever, and, 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 and McDonald's has been extremely successful. We all see them, we all know they've been around forever and ever and ever. I mean, we can all make a better burger, right? Mm -hmm. I can go home and make a better tasting burger than McDonald's. But we buy it. But, but it's the system right. that they're mm -hmm. selling. Right. When you can create your business to be a system, you can you can actually sell that system. It becomes a product. The company becomes, mm -hmm. a product. the systems become a product right. Right. so much so that you can sell it like a franchise. That's right. See, that's scalability. That's scalability. Yeah, scalability. Scalability. Exactly. 100%. Scalability. Exactly. 100 you can scalability. That's scalability. Yeah. And when you can package all of that and say, you know, here's my company, I can go to, to, to another country for a year and give you this and you should be able to run my company. Wow. If I if my company can't run without me being there, I don't really have a company. No, you, I am you, I am now. You the created company. a job. You created a job. So this is, this yeah. is good. Yeah. So so we have lead gen, mm -hmm. conversion, correct, delivering your product in a consistent way. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, I'm excited. And I, know, and, I know, <laughs> and I know you want the last one, but you know, and 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 this one is is so critical to the long term uh, growth and sustainability mm -hmm. of any company. And, and it's done to us in a lot of cases we don't even know. And that is to, to be able to, um, you know, to convert and, re and retain us as long-term customers, mm -hmm. okay? So it's that, it's from that fulfillment section, and then you go over and you get them to the point where you know now that they like your product so much mm -hmm. that you can put them in your system and they're going to be happy customers they're coming for, back for when forever <laughs> basically as long as you're in business so what you're doing is you've created through the first three the last piece which is you retain them as a permanent a permanent customer Client i mean retention. that's what you want you want to retain them you want them to never leave and go to anybody else and buy the products that you sell because they love you and for all of us there's mm -hmm. things that we purchased in our life and places that we've been where we say I'm going back there. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't care who else has it. Even uh, on Annie's pretzels, we like her pretzels. Mm -hmm. Now, when I think of a pretzel, to be frank with you, if, if anybody was selling them, I would not go anywhere else. I would go buy one of those mm -hmm. because I love her pretzels. Mm -hmm. They're consistent. 
They taste good. They're, they're warm every time you get them. So she's done that with, with the client retention piece. Mm -hmm. She, You see her sign? You might not even want a pretzel, but you're thinking, I'm, I'll take it home. I'm going to go ahead and get one. <laughs> right. When you think of warm pretzels, you think of yeah. any, any so, so that So those, those are the four. Look, four people jackets. can tell you any other way, but if you don't do those four ways, you're, you're not going to sustain your business.